Hi, I'm Michael Belasco. And I'm Spencer Burton. And we'd like to welcome you to the A-Series Accelerator 3.0. We're thrilled to have you join us in this transformative program made for real estate professionals like you. And I'm going to kick this off by asking you, Spencer, a question, yeah. bringing us back to the foundations of this program. Why did we decide to launch the Accelerator program initially? Because we don't believe in the traditional way of learning this. Go and ahead. Let me add real quick. Because we have firsthand direct experience of that not working well for us. Yes. And for many of our classmates at school, <laughs> we did weekend boot camps, different programs. All of them were with poor results for everyone involved. Just imagine having a room with an instructor. You have savants in finance. You have guys coming in out of the construction mm -hmm. field. You have people in, in unrelated industries coming in. And one instructor has to teach an entire room all with varying skills. Who do you teach to? You know, so, lowest common denominator. That's right. who you teach to. So yeah. we it never worked out well. All of those programs. They, they were always a, there was a waste of money. I, I remember this this professor from a big school I won't name. Guest professor came in for this weekend boot camp about waterfall modeling. Complete waste. <laughs> Of time. <laughs> so let's now understand the accelerator a bit more. Its foundation is in case based learning. Okay, so every uh, module, course, if you will, are grounded or, or it ha it's, it's framed around a case. Each one of these courses, these modules build on top of one another. So we start with direct cap. Mm. It's like you've got to build to a stabilized NOI, you've got to figure out how to, how to produce a, a cap rate. And with your NOI and cap rate, you can get a direct cap value. We move to DCF, how to value based on a string of cash flows out into the future and the present value of those cash flows. Um, those are some foundational finance concepts that are likewise key to real estate. But then we start moving into really the meat of mm. financial modeling. Um, we have the course, which I would argue is the most important component of the core curriculum of the accelerator, and that is the anatomy of the real estate DCF. Mm. That's the framework for building dynamic real estate financial models. Inputs, calculation modules, outputs, investment cash flows, operating cash flows, reversion cash flows at the property cash flow level, contributions and distributions at the partnership cash flow level. Uh, and that then blends into key risk and return metrics, which those cash flows that you produce in your dynamic models result in some metrics. And those metrics help you make investment decisions. So that's how this, the accelerator starts. And then we build on from that with income statements, mm. modeling leases. We then roll in debt. Notice that debt comes almost 10 modules in. Yeah. That's on purpose because real estate cash flow modeling starts with unlevered cash flows. You introduce debt and introduce a complexity that's unnecessary. But I remember early on, I didn't understand that. Yes. And so I'm like, well, wh what about my partnership? What about my waterfall model cash flows? Or what about my debt cash because flows? Because it was right? presented all- uh, All together, yes. right? Yep. And so this is very much a building block. And, and by the way, every oh, one of those, sure. those modules has a case study with a real world task assigned to it that you and I have done. And based on our real our like real world scenarios, yeah. us showing up to institutional shops where we worked at and um, you know, sitting in our offices with our our direct reports and yeah. going through these things. So, th so that's the foundation of the accelerator. So think of the accelerator 1.0 was that core curriculum and that case-based learning with a building blocks approach. And it, it was a phenomenal success. And there were a few things that, again, we learned through the first three years or uh, the second three years. And now as, as we look forward to the next three years, the first is AI has hit the scene. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to make sure that, that we could begin to deliver learning around AI. We also wanted to, be, to leverage some of the AI capabilities to enhance the learning experience. Mm. That was one. The second is we heard from our users, from our members, I wish that there was more networking opportunities. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. Those who take the accelerator are coming out of the best schools in the world. Yeah. Um, they're creative entrepreneurs. They're working at some of the best, the biggest firms in the world. And our accelerator members want to interact with one another yeah, in a more meaningful way. And at this point in the career is great when you're, most of our users are at the right moment where you know, you're all kind of at the same level to interact at that time. So we, we wanted to create that gateway uh, to be able to do that. Yeah. So, so, so AI was one, yeah. networking was, was another. The third was around accountability. Yes. Early on, Michael and I had this view because like we're very goal-driven individuals. It's like, if I'm going to do it, I'm just going to go do it. 
Uh, I don't need someone to hold my hand, mm -hmm. hold me accountable. Not all of us are that way. And th there's no disrespect for those who need a little bit of of push, a little bit of help. Um, all of us have bought a gym membership in January. <laughs> <laughs> the third was, how can we bring some features that would help hold people accountable mm. to meeting their goals in, in the Acceler? So th those are, I say, would be the primary three thoughts that we had as we, we explored what we would do in the 3.0. There's some ancillary things around events that's interesting, around yeah. content. We have capabilities now with this new platform awesome. that we have yeah. to be able to, to do these things. There's even concepts, while we haven't rolled out any of these yet, but there's like, you know, the cohorts, cohorts, there's this gamification, maybe yeah. even we'll do these inter, you know, within the accelerators, uh, we can do case competitions. competitions. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of fun things. What it, back to that networking thing, I'll even just open yeah, on it. It's not really fully formed out, but getting, you know, different students from different universities to connect and form a team and do, there's all mm -hmm. these, and create, do case study competitions together, but with different people from, from with, but we have the capabilities now to do that. And you know, this is a community, by the way. So I'm saying we have these capabilities. Maybe somebody out there has an idea they want to present to us. I mean, we're open. We just have this new platform now that allows us to create more of that community and connectivity. And so that's a big value add for the entire user base. So. Yeah. So so if you're an ex if you're an existing Accelerator member, you have access to the 3.0. So all legacy members are uh, grandfathered in mm. with with access to the 3.0. What to expect from the 3.0? First off, a modern, clean look. Mm. You know, even our, our 2.0 has gotten a little dated feeling. So this is a modern, clean look. Mm -hmm. um, some you know touch ups on branding that feel nice. Yeah. Um, it's faster. And our 2.0 was pretty fast. This this one's faster. You there are now some really cool networking features. Mm. Uh, you can private message anyone, including me or Michael. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all, we, we may not check the private messages in the accelerator, but you can private message the AC, the accelerator team, uh, the ACRE team, any of the other accelerator members if that accelerator member. Uh, opens their profile to do so. You can see other Accelerator members if that Accelerator member is uh, is public to the community. And then we've got different boards. So we have this area called the hub where mm -hmm. we share content on a daily basis that we think is valuable. Accelerator members can share jobs and career opportunities that they are either at their firm or they're hearing about. They can share it to a section. We'll also share job opportunities that we come across. And so anyway, those are the networking uh, tools, AI is throughout. On the back end, we use AI to make the platform more efficient. On the front end, we use AI. Part of our accountability tools are actually powered by some AI things that we have. We've got a whole section now. Um, we don't call it an endorsement, although it is effectively an endorsement entirely, entire section called Apply AI, mm -hmm. uh, which at launch had six modules. Um, I'm committing to producing a new module every month going mm -hmm. forward, at least for the next year. Uh, such that we have a critical mass of AI learning options. And then, uh, you know, on the event side, uh, we our AMAs are being wrapped into the accelerator, so it's much easier to attend an, an AMA event. And then as we have partnerships with companies that want to do company information sessions, those would be housed on the accelerator well. So mm -hmm. the 3.0 is really exciting, what we have. Yeah. Um, and we look forward to your feedback.